So Ducati are joining the electric motorcycle race. Are they going to be able to produce a motorcycle that is comparable to their petrol driven machines? Tell you all about inside. Revelator Elf. Hello, welcome to Revelator Elf, the channel about motorcycling interests and all sorts of oddities. Please subscribe and hit the notifications bell for all the latest videos because there's a lot more coming. So, uh, Ducati have uh, just announced uh, recently that they're entering the electric motorcycle uh, genre, if you like. Uh, and uh, actually in this week's uh, motorcycle news, uh, in I'll just show you quick pictures. This is basically a mock-up of their bike. That's not really a great picture, I know. But the whole article isn't really about the prototype that they're kind of working on. It's more about um, whether Ducati themselves feel that the electric uh, variant that they're working on is going to be powerful enough, is going to have the right power to weight ratio, uh, what about the battery life and everything like that. Now they're actually asking the questions that we're kind of asking really, you know, for a performance machine, will an electric bike be comparable or will it be better than the petrol driven variants? Now, we all know that um, in terms of electric motorcycles, this is the way it's going. Yes, they are the future. If we look at, if you go to any motorcycle show now, you'll see that uh, electric motorcycles are having a greater and greater pre uh, presence. Of course, they're still small in relative terms. However, we can see this a, de a definite shift. If we look at uh, press, you know, or magazines. There's a great article here uh, in the Road magazine, the Motorcycle Action Group magazine uh, from the UK. And it's actually about uh, one man's uh, journey, if you like, uh, with electric scooters and things like that. And he's been riding them for about 15, 20 years. So, you know, there's lots of uh, evidence out there, people actually using these on a day to day basis. And, you know, they are becoming more and more sought after. But the question is, it's about range, it's about price, it's about battery life, it's about availability of spares. It really comes down to economics at the end of the day and practicality and usability. If we look at the high-end market, let's say like, let's say like Ducati, are they gonna be able to compete with the well-established electric motorcycle manufacturers, let's say like Zero, for example, or are they going after the elite uh, market um, let's say if you look at the uh, arc or the arc uh, motorcycle their arc vector uh, motorcycle well that's in the region of about ninety thousand pounds right now and it is an odd looking shaped motorcycle but actually if you compare it to this kind of mock-up of the ducati it's not too dissimilar they're all kind of looking for this kind of very sleek very futuristic uh, looks of motorcycles so you know it's it's whether Ducati uh, can produce a bike that is comparable and does to their petrol driven uh, machines. Is it as competitive, let's say, for future racing? Uh, is it going to be usable and practical for owners as well? And critically, in which market will it be placing itself in? Will it be competing at the high end, which is going to outprice most uh, motorcycle riders? Or are they going to make, you know, go into the smaller uh, markets, let's say where zero kind of occupies the space right now. Now, there are lots of machines uh, actually on the market and the manufacturers are slowly, but sure, well, not slowly, but sure. And the manufacturers are year in, year out, getting on top of this electric wave uh, that's going to be hitting us. And you can expect a lot more diversity a lot more capability uh, with these motorcycles in the coming years now if you'd asked me a year ago two years ago what I thought of electric motorcycles I would have said absolutely not they're nowhere near ready and I still don't think across the board that they they are ready in terms of practicality in terms of long term uh, long range uh, in terms of uh, price as well however we're on the crest of the wave here or we're just about to summit and it's all it's all downhill or all easy going from now on i think we're that close to getting something that the average rider could use you know certainly in built up areas certainly in you know for street riding and then possibly even for commuting or short uh, short distance commuting uh, and they'll feel confident enough to be able to do it 
whether Ducati's uh, answer or their prototype is going to be the answer. I don't think Ducati even thinks so themselves, uh, but certainly a lot of the other manufacturers, um, you know, they're, they're looking at this. Obviously, we've got the you know the Harley Davidson, the Live Wire, which I've already made a video about. You know, we've got Ural who've uh, come out uh, this uh, this kind of last week or so, uh, talking about their prototype electric motorcycle and sidecar. I made a video about that as well. You know, so there is a big movement from you know the big brands and the lesser brands and the new brands actually coming out um, with their with their bikes. So brands to look out for are obviously the Zero motorcycle cycles with their Zero S, you got Energica or Energica with their SS9, um, the Livewire, the Harley Davidson, uh, looking at that, look at the Ural coming out and look at the, most of the electric market obviously we, as we know is in the scooter market but we are getting more and more into the bigger bikes or the bigger frame bikes as well. Anyway, interesting times ahead. Let's see what happens, but we know it's going that way. We know more and more electric motorcycles are coming. And if, you know, if the Ducati is anything to go by, then the future looks pretty sporty. Right, catch you on the next video. Whenever that is, please subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and I'll catch you soon. Cheers now.